There are signs popping up all over the tri-state, like one that says, I admire how hard you work every day. Maybe you've noticed some of the signs. The uplifting messages are being used as conversation starters for a much deeper topic. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us live on Fountain Square with this grassroots campaign that's really gaining momentum, isn't it, Brad? It is, Cami. Uh, social media has helped to do so. And, you know, we're talking about a conversation that needs to take place with your loved ones, but how do you start it? Well, Hospice of Cincinnati is trying to help. What they've done is they've hired some actors to stand in places around town during rush hour and simply just holding up a sign, hoping you'll get the message and you'll start the conversation. On foot or driving by, it's hard to miss this woman on Fountain Square. Her bright smile and that big white sign, it reads, I'll always be here for you. But she's not alone. 20 minutes north, this man holds another sign. I'm glad I'm now your friend and son. They're conversation starters, things you shouldn't wait to say because you never know. You might not get the chance. Expressing wishes about what's important to us, who would speak for us if we couldn't speak for ourselves, um, and eventually down the road, um, end of life planning, care planning. Through social media and the hashtag things you shouldn't wait to say, Hospice of Cincinnati launches the campaign Conversations of a Lifetime, helping you get past the challenge of sharing your wishes with your loved ones about end-of-life care. If I came um, at you and said, hey, let's talk about your end-of-life care plan, you might not be as receptive as you are to a message, a positive message on a street corner by somebody who looks like a person you might work with or go to school with, and so that was really our thinking. And it's working. Thousands of people a day are seeing the messages in five different locations around Cincinnati. You're the best parents I could ever imagine. Whatever feels heartfelt, say it. And then when you're in that space, continue to say it would, it's really important for me to understand how I can serve you, how I can take care of you in the future. Now, using social media, Hospice of Cincinnati is targeting a younger crowd. You know, when you hear hospice, end-of-life care, most of us think of people who are terminally ill, but that's the myth about having the conversation. It is never too early. Get these ideas, these wishes out on the table because you never know. Reporting live on Fountain Square, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. So, Brad, what was the reaction that these people were getting to these signs? I'm wondering, were people just mostly curious, like, what the heck is this about? Yeah, you know, certain areas you, you can't get out of your car, but here on Fountain Square, you know, you walk up and you, and you talk, they tell you what they're doing, who they're working for, and right now, they're really pushing people to social media using that hashtag and the website to start reading about this and just get people talking. And let's hope it does. All right, Brad, thank you. And this summer, a mobile unit will travel, travel around the city to continue to help people start the conversation about end-of-life care. And I know we've both had loved ones involved in hospice care. Yes. And it's such an important resource in our community. And the people who work there are special. They're angels. They yeah. really are.